Have you seen this? This is quite hilarious, isn't it? This is courtesy of some guy on Twitter called Jacob Gallagher who posted this tweet. It said the following, in the month since Kanye wore these boots, they've appreciated 20 times. It's funny because when he first wore them, I was like, oh, they're quite cool. Let me search for them. I couldn't find them anywhere. But it's also funny because this reminds me of um, my small dilly, dilly dance or, you know, toe wiggle when it comes to setting trends in this way. Because usually when it comes to me, I've, I've kind of been known for always wearing massive boots, right? And there was a time period, I think even last year or the year before that, where I was wearing these boots. Where I was wearing these, right? Where I was wearing these New Rock boots every single day. I'm showing the camera some New Rock boots that I purchased from eBay um, a few years ago, right? And I've been wearing these every single day during the entirety of lockdown when I was going out, hanging around. These have been my daily stompers. And I noticed, especially in the area that I live in, a couple of dudes that basically saw me wearing them had suddenly got a pair themselves. I was like, oh, that's funny, isn't it? Because I've been wearing these every single day. So maybe it was me. Maybe it was just the cultural like, guys. But, you know, it's a thing that you kind of notice. And then out of nowhere, a few kind of months later, Kanye pops out and he's wearing these flipping massive Red Wing boots every single day. Or well, he's got this new kind of outfit, this new sort of like creative practice that he's got now where he's kind of wearing the same clothes all the time everywhere he goes and the boots seem to be like a huge part of it and it was pissing me off because i was thinking oh man i've been wearing these massive boots all the time people are going to think now that i'm flipping copying kind of going to new york boots but to be fair these are a lot more aggressive than these red wings and he's wearing a lot of kind of like construction boots sort of like um waterproof sort of stuff that kind of looks conventionally let's say normal they look kind of easy to wear even though these obviously are massive and they may be ugly to some people but they're no different to a pair of biker boots they're no different to a pair of wellingtons i mean they look, don't look that crazy not that detached but i guess if you're gonna wear a pair of new rocks you definitely have to be you know you definitely listen to techno if you wear these right <laughs> um but yeah this is the this is what real influence is about this is what i mean if you're actual that's the problem the issue with influencers now it feels like it feels like most people are just shilling brands that they don't even wear so if a brand reaches out to you because you've got an amount of followers and they offer you the bag they just take it and that's it you're not actually influencing it like even the people that do that food stuff it's not as if they're like discovering new places they're just going to the same places they get given you know they get, get they get told to come to a press day they get comped on a meal and that's it. You're not actually discovering little holes in the wall. You're not going to far flung places and, you know, maybe putting on whatever. You're not doing any of that stuff. You're just basically taking the deals that are coming inbound to you or reaching out to the places that are bait and popular. I don't think I've, for the longest time, maybe apart from this blog called cheese and biscuits dot blog dot blogspot dot com or cheese and biscuits dot com cheese and so it's N, not and. So cheese and biscuits. Definitely check it out. It's probably the only sort of influencer kind of thing i've seen where this guy's a restaurant reviewer he never reveals his face or anything he takes pictures of the meal sometimes he gets con but for the most part he goes to like random places around england and basically tries different restaurants and gives you a review and sometimes you'll find places that no one really has spoken about maybe he'll go to a place that everyone's raving about and won't like it but that's what influencing was before it was like going to places and basically discovering them you know and basically making them you know pop or whatever it may be but nowadays people don't do that so this is what actual real because what's going to happen with these that red is going to see the demand of these and they're going to release them that's what's going to happen or maybe kanye is going to end up collaborating with them or maybe he's going to make his own iteration of them into yeezys but this is definitely what influencing is because for sure red wing are receiving many emails about these shoes already at the moment and they're probably going to be like you know what this is we're leaving money on the table mate let's flip and take advantage of this shit let's get that kanye rub and kanye being kanye is probably not going to accept any sort of you know tying with that one's going to everyone want to sit on the board or something or red wing you know how card is so that he's not going to take any easy deal so they're definitely going to put these out they're definitely and you know the the sad thing is also the retro won't end up looking as good as this like the profile of this how flat it is like how bulky it looks it'll probably end up looking a lot more slimmer than this it'll probably end up being a lot shorter because it's just such a massive unit of a boot it may be i wonder if it's the same height as these wait what is it is it 17 centimeters it says here right what does it say? 17 inches. I don't know how big this is actually. Maybe it's the same. Maybe Or maybe it's higher. Uh, maybe it's higher because this comes up to my calf. But then, you know, I've got quite long legs. So maybe that's the part. But yeah, 
I wonder. But yeah, let's see, man. That, but this is real influencing. Big up Kanye for the for the flipping Midas touch. He took these boots from being on sale and selling for one hundred and forty five dollars to now. At the last time that they sold on eBay, somebody was able to sell a pair of size thirteens for three thousand and fifty. The funny thing about it, if you notice Kanye wearing them up close pictures, they do look kind of big. And I remember back in the day, one of these guys who I knew in the sneaker community, I forgot who it was, sold, you should sell Kanye a few sneakers. And supposedly Kanye was really self-conscious about how small these actual feet are. So I think he's actually like a size eight or nine or something. I don't know whatever size it is, but he always wears like size 11s and 12s. That's what I've been told. He never wears shoes that are actually his size because he wants to appear to be a lot you know, his shoes to be a lot bigger because I guess, you know, the whole bigger shoe thing means you've got a bigger dick or something. I don't know, but it's a weird thing. But I remember that being a thing. So that might explain why the boots look so big in terms of the prof like side profile. Have you seen pictures of Kanye wearing them? They look really huge. Let me see if I can get another picture of him wearing them because I remember seeing a picture of him wearing it and he looked really, they looked huge on him, like ridiculously huge. Let's see, I've got this account I follow on Twitter called Photos of Yay. Yay Photo. Yay. Where is it? That's the one, right? Let's see if I get up on here. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's, and there's new pictures of him wearing the boots actually out and about, but it's not side profile. He's got this cool shirt on, but yeah, you can't see a side profile. But the side profile for sure, they're a lot bigger than what they, you know, the this like they're not really his size. Do you know what I mean? I, I I think so. In my opinion, I think they're a lot more longer than what his actual shoe size is. But you know, it's the hardest thing ever in the world to wear shoes that are longer than what your actual foot is. Like, there's nothing worse than, I think, the only thing worse than wearing shoes that are too big or shoes that are too small, the pain is intolerable. But I've always had to, keep do, you know, put up with it because my shoes, my feet have always been big since I was young. I was like, I went from, I remember being like a size 7 to a 9 to a 10 straight away. Luckily, I stopped at 10. Now I'm like a 10, 10 and a half. But, you know, imagine being 16 and everyone in your school is flipping size 7 and able to get cheap shoes and you're a legit man size 10. You know what I mean, it was always embarrassing. So I'd always kind of purposely wear smaller shoes and then take out the insole and stuff. And oh, my feet, I killed my feet for a long time when I was younger, man. And then obviously when I got older, I just embraced the fact that I got big feet. And obviously I grew a bit taller as well. So it kind of made up for it. But yeah, that was a big deal for a long time. Um, let's see, is there any other example? I've actually got this, man. I've got, I've got this book. Actually, I need to do a little thing on this book too. But yeah, if you can see, the boots do look a little bit bigger for him, innit? They don't look exactly his size. Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but uh, yeah, don't don't be surprised if these boots end up coming out retail because you know he's he, he has made these guys. He's kind of uh, I'm sure spiked the Google Analytics when it comes to um, them putting out those shoes. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. 